friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're sewing the easiest pair of lounging shorts you could ever imagine. All you need is a sewing machine, some fabric, elastic, and a drawstring. Go grab your pattern and let's sew these cute shorts together. <laughs> For this pattern, I'm going to be using the Ellie and Macfield Pretty Pants. We're going to use the shorts version. I will attach the link to this pattern below. Go grab it. We will need some woven fabric, some elastic for our waistband, and some either cording or you can make your own um, cord for the drawstring. We need scissors for cutting our fabric or a rotary cutter, and we need a sewing machine. I will start by cutting out my pattern. And I'm just using, like I said, the Ellie and Mac feel pretty pattern. Now that our pattern pieces are already cut apart, we're gonna grab our pants, our bottoms, and we're gonna grab our fronts and our backs, and we're going to sew at the crotch, sew them together at the crotch. So I'm gonna grab my backs first, sew them right sides together. We're going to pin that crotch seam together, right sides together. And we're going to do the same for the front, the two fronts, right sides together. Then I'm gonna go on my sewing machine and sew that right up. Make sure you do a back stitch when you start and when you finish, and sew those two together. You can go back with a zigzag stitch or with your serger if you want to reinforce those seams, you can go back and edge stitch all the way around. Once that seam is um, sewn, I'm gonna go ahead and grab up uh, my front. That's my back, I'm gonna put it face up on the mat and then I'm gonna put my front face down right on top. And I'm going to put my bottoms face up on my board and then I'm gonna put the other ones right on top, right sides together. I'm going to match that crotch seam and I'm going to sew the legs down, the inseam. So I'm going to pin and then I'm also going to pin the side seam. And we'll go over to our sewing machine and sew them together. Again, make sure you do a little back stitch when you first start and when you finish. We're gonna start our waistband. We're gonna meet it right sides together, the two waistbands and we're going to pin and sew those sides. Now we're gonna start uh, creating our casings. We're going to fold our waistband um, halfway, wrong sides together, and we're going to steam uh, this fabric. It's very thin and flimsy, which will make really great uh, lounging shorts, but it is kind of crazy when it comes to trying to match up the raw edges. So you wanna make sure that whatever fabric you're using, you give it a good steam so that it doesn't slide up on you as you're going to sew it so that your edges are together. So this is one of those that I have to be very careful with. And you all know I'm not the one to take time usually to do all, be really super careful but I'm going to this time. Okay, so then after we have our band together, I'm going to measure down from the top. If you're doing the uh, small waistband, the smaller waistband, you're going to do a half an inch. I'm doing the wider waistband, so I'm gonna do three quarters of an inch, and I'm gonna go down from the top three quarters of an inch, and I'm gonna mark it, and I'm gonna go all the way around and sew and leaving a a gap where I'm going to insert, insert my elastic. So maybe like a two inch gap. So I'm gonna go and mark three quarters of an inch and sew all the way around and leaving that space right there. What I'd like to do to be able to measure, to make it easier on myself, I put my needle down and I grab my little ruler and I measure three quarter of an inch, as you can see, and I look and see where that falls on my sewing machine. Sometimes I'll make a little mark um, and then I go from there and keep it at that same spot and go all the way around. Now remember to stop when you get to the other end so you can leave that two inch gap where you're going to insert your elastic. Now comes the fun part. You can either attach grommets to the front of your waistband or you can use your sewing machine and make some buttonholes 
uh, for your grommets or for your uh, drawstring to go along. I'm going to fold my band in half. Here's my sides, seams, and I'm going to go to the front and I wanna mark that front. So I'm just gonna draw a little uh, mark on it. And I'm gonna open it up and here's my front. I wanna measure my quarter inch because that's where I'm going to add my next line. And I want to put my drawstring um, somewhere in between. So I want to do it like right in between both of them. Here's my one and here's my other. And I can make a little tiny button hole the size of my drawstring. Or if you want our grommets, if you want to use grommets. Or if you want to skip this step and just go ahead and put elastic on there and just fake a drawstring, you can also do that. And um, that might be a little bit easier for some of us who are not comfortable with a, uh, with a buttonhole. So I'm going to actually pretend my drawstring is on there and I'm going to actually use three different elastics on my casings and I'm gonna skip my drawstring piece. So we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and we're gonna go and sew from the top down three quarter inch if you're using the longer waistband. If you're using the shorter waistband, you're gonna do a half an inch, um, another half an inch casing. And we're going to go around and do the same thing, leaving a two inch gap at the back again, where we're going to insert elastic and then we'll do a third row after that. So one and then a last one. So let's do that. Now our last one, again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm measuring my three quarter inch and then I'm marking my sewing machine with an air soluble marker. So it's going to come off as soon as I'm done. All right, friends, we are down to the last few steps and you can either go ahead and insert that elastic through that casing that we made, those three casings, um, or you can go ahead and attach it first to your bottoms and then insert the elastic. I find that it's a little bit easier if I attach it to my bottoms first and then insert the elastic. Um, that way it's not too gathered up and I'm trying to stretch it. Now, if you're going to do it that way, that means you're gonna to have to leave a gap um, also on your bottoms where you can fit through and insert that elastic. So what I'm gonna do is first off, I'm going to quarter my band. That way I know exactly what's my front and my back. So I'm gonna match up those, um, those edges and I'm going to go to the front and the back and I'm just gonna mark it by doing just a little, uh, taking just a little bit off of the edge and mark that. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to place it on my bottoms and I want where I left that gap to be on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and pin those all the way around. And then we're going to sew it on, leaving that gap, whoops, just lost a pin, uh, clip leaving that gap where we left that opening to put our bottoms, uh, our elastic, leaving that gap open as well on our band as we're attaching it. So don't attach that part. So you can go in through that gap and put in your elastic and then we'll go back and sew those gaps together closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right here and then come back around and end right before it where I had left that gap. So we're gonna go ahead and sew it all on. Let's go. Time to insert our elastic, but because I like to make patterns my own, I have decided that I'm only going to insert two elastics uh, and also no drawstring, but um, I'm going to leave that top open, that top gap, I'm not going to add elastic on it. I want to leave it by itself and I'm hoping that it will give my bottoms a kind of like a, um, uh, what do you call it, um, paper bag look. So I'm going to go ahead and go in through that gap and feed my elastic all the way through and then once we do that we will close our elastic um, on top of each other, sew it and go to the next elastic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do both at the same time and then go back over in my sew machine and fix it once both of them are on. All 
right my elastics all the way through i'm going to go over to my machine zigzag stitch them together and then i'm going to go ahead and top stitch on those spots where i left open and we'll have hemming and we'll be done just went back and forth with my zigzag stitch it doesn't look the best but um nobody's gonna see it because it's gonna be tucked inside and here's my last one and then I'm going to, with my straight stitch, close up those gaps. Remember not to catch your elastic as you're trying to sew those sides up. And then turn it around and sew up that back. Then go back and trim all your thread. And we are going to hem and be done. I am super excited about these shorts and we're almost done. We just want to go ahead and hem. Since this is a woven pattern, you want to do a double fold. So you could do a quarter inch and a quarter inch fold and then um, or you can sew up that raw edge with either a serger or a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine um, and then fold over and that will be just fine as well. I'm actually I made mine shorts a little bit longer and I am doing a half an inch and half an inch. So I actually made it to have a whole inch seam allowance that will be easier for me when I'm hemming. So I'm going to go ahead and steam all the way around and then go back to my sewing machine and top stitch that hem and we'll be done all right friends we are done with our shorts which i love um and they're going to be super cute on if you wanted to add that extra with the um, waistband the i'm sorry the um drawstring you would just i would just stitch it right on there cut it the length that you want it stitch it right on there and it will look super cute just like if you had a drawstring but you didn't do all the work for it um i think this would be super cute too if you made a little belt to go along with them and use them as high-waisted shorts very very trendy very very super cute i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know if you have any questions about anything that i did comment like share subscribe to our channel so you can be entered to win our 50 dollars alien my gift certificate we give every month please come follow us on facebook and instagram so you can see what everyone is making and you can be inspired to make your own creations i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all next time